Richard Semler Bartholmus was an American film actor, principally of the Hollywood silent era. He starred opposite Lillian Gish in D. W. Griffith's Broken Blossoms and Way Down East and was among the founders of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences in 1927. The following year, he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor for two films, The Patent Leather Kid and The News. Early life Bartholmus was born in New York City, the son of Caroline W. Harris, a stage actress, and Alfred W. Bartholmus. His father died when he was a year old. Through his mother, he grew up in the theater, doing walk-ons from an early age. In contrast to that, he was educated at Hudson River Military Academy at Nyack, New York and Trinity College at Hartford, Connecticut. He did some acting in college and other amateur productions. By 1919 he had five years in stock company experience. Career Russian actress Alla Nazimova, a friend of the family, was taught English by Caroline Bartholmus. Nazimova convinced Richard Bartholmus to try acting professionally, and he made his debut screen appearance in 1916 in the serial Gloria's Romance as an uncredited extra. He also appeared as a supporting player in several films starring Marguerite Clark. His next role, in War Brides opposite Nazimova, attracted the attention of director D. W. Griffith, who offered him several important roles, finally casting him opposite Lillian Gish in Broken Blossoms and Way Down East. He founded his own production company, Inspiration Film Company, together with Charles Jewell and Henry King. One of their films, Tollable David, in which Bartholmus starred as a teenage mailman who finds courage, was a major success. In 1922, Photoplay described him as the idol of every girl in America. Bartholmus had a large female following during the 1920s. An admirer wrote to the editor of Picture Play magazine in 1921, Different fans have different opinions, and although Wallace Reed, Thomas Maghan, and Niles Welch are mighty fine chaps, I think that Richard Bartholmus beats them all. Dick is getting more and more popular every day, and why? because his wonderful black hair and soulful eyes are enough to make any young girl adore him. The first play I saw Dick in was Boots, Dorothy Gish playing the lead. This play impressed me so that I went to see every play in which he appeared, Three Men and a Girl, Scarlet Days, The Love Flower, and Broken Blossoms, in which I decided that Dick was my favorite. I am looking forward to Way Down East as being a great success, because I know Dick will play a good part. Bartholmus soon became one of Hollywood's higher-paid performers, starring in such classics as The Patent Leather Kid in 1927 and The Noose in 1928. He was nominated for Best Actor at the first Academy Awards for his performance in both films. In addition, he won a special citation for producing The Patent Leather Kid. With the advent of the sound era, Bartholmus remained a star for a number of years. He played numerous leads in Taki films, most notably Son of the Gods, The Dawn Patrol, The Last Flight, The Cabin in the Cotton and Heroes for Sale. He was able to choose his own material and often played in controversial or socially conscious films. However, his popularity began to wane in the 1930s as he was getting too old for the boyish leads he usually played, and in his later films between 1939 and his retirement in 1942, he turned towards character roles most notably in his supporting role as the disgraced pilot and husband of Rita Hayworth's character in Only Angels Have Wings. Post-acting career Bartholmus failed to maintain the stardom of his silent film days and gradually left entertainment. He enlisted in the United States Navy Reserve during World War II, and served as a lieutenant commander. He never returned to film, preferring instead to live off his real estate investments. Personal life on June 18, 1920, Bartholmus married Mary Hay, a stage and screen star, in New York. They had one daughter, Mary Bartholmus, before divorcing on January 15, 1927. In August 1927, Bartholmus became engaged to Catherine Young Wilson, a Broadway actress. However, the engagement was called off due to Wilson's stated desire to continue acting, or possibly his affair around this time with the journalist Adela Rogers St. John's. On April 21, 1928, Bartholmus married Jessica Stewart Sargent. He later adopted her son, Stewart, from a previous marriage. They remained married until Bartholmus' death in 1963. Death Bartholmus died of throat cancer on August 17, 1963, aged 68, in Southampton, New York. He was interred at the Ferncliff Cemetery and Mausoleum in Hartsdale, New York. 
Legacy Barthelmus was a founder of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. In 1960, Barthelmus received a motion picture star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6755 Hollywood Boulevard for his contributions to the film industry. Barthelmus was among the second group of recipients of the George Eastman Award in 1957, given by the George Eastman House for distinguished contribution to the art of film. Composer Catherine Allen Lively dedicated her piano composition Within the Walls of China, a Chinese episode to Barthelmus in the Sheet Music published in 1923 by G. Shermer, Inc. An article in the Music Trades reported that Mrs. Lively was inspired by a viewing of the film Broken Blossoms, and performed the piece for Barthelmus and his friends in New York in the summer of 1922. 